So method number one for locating a solar system. And so just to uh, summarize what a solar system is, you have to find a, at least one planet that's orbiting a star. And so with the radial velocity method, um, what we look at is that if there is a planet that's orbiting that star, then that orbiting planet will exert a gravitational force on that star and it will cause the star to wobble. And so it's possible uh, for the wobble to be detected by measurements of what's called the Doppler shift of light that's actually given off from the star. So you don't need to really worry too much about the Doppler shift and what that means or how it's detected. All you need to know is that if that star wobbles closer towards Earth, then it will show up as a blue shift. As the star wobbles away from the Earth, then it will, be, then it will show up as a red shift. So if you were to look in this particular diagram, you're right here sitting on Earth you're looking out at a star right here. And what you notice, once you put a, a Doppler device onto your telescope as you look out into the sky, you will see that the light will go blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, indicating that the star is wobbling towards the Earth, away from the Earth, towards the Earth, from the way, away from the Earth. So the point that we're making here is that that would not be seen, would not be possible, if it wasn't for the gravitational tug that a planet is putting on that star as it orbits it.